from day one, I was all about Call of Duty. I ne never even looked back to BHD. And I even attempted to promote the game in my within my clan by telling uh, my clan mates all about it and I posted a couple videos of gameplay so they can they can see what it's like. And because computer hardware was so expensive and most of the people in my clan were kids essentially and they would have to they didn't have a job so they would have to get their get the money from their parents to upgrade their PC to uh, play Call of Duty so they weren't they weren't up to that So I'm playing Call of Duty 4 on the PC and I'm getting kind of tired of the stock maps. So I started uh, searching around and I found out about mods. And mods are really powerful tools. I mean they can be used to hack the game and cheat but they can also be used to completely change the gameplay the look everything the new maps about a uh, about a game and there was a large modding community for Call of Duty 4 and I ran into a, a server ran by a clan uh, called the Maniacs, and they were running a Call of Duty 4 mod called the Extreme Mod. In a nutshell, the Extreme Mod was Modern Warfare 2 before there was Modern Warfare 2. The Extreme Mod had chopper gunners, AC 130s, and nukes. This was in a Call of Duty 4 game. And it, it was it was blowing my mind. I mean <laughs> I I couldn't wait to get on the server and play and and uh, get my kill streaks up to so I can uh, hop into the chopper gunner and AC130 and drop a nuke. Now back to YouTube. I started posting gameplay videos again because I was being called a hacker. So I was posting videos to prove that I wasn't hacking. And thinking back, it was probably a huge mistake that I didn't post more videos. And I did it selfishly because I didn't want I was I was playing in a in the same server all the time, so I was, I was running into the same players, and I didn't want them to watch my videos and find out where where I was playing and on the map and my tactics to to counter my my gameplay. So that was that was probably a huge mistake on my part. Needless to say, I got a lot of enjoyment from that mod. And thanks to the Maniacs clan for not falling into the trap of just banning from accusations and actually doing into a little putting in a little work to see if someone is actually hacking or if they're just a good player. Then after that point, I basically Got into the Call of Duty franchise. I played World at War, Modern Warfare 2, 
Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and here we are today. So, hope you enjoyed that little story. And if you do, please leave a comment on that you'd like to hear more stories like that or other stories. Thank you for watching.